put on again and we off on okay let's just push through the center 45 minute 15 second game
see the big massive mistake there. <laughs> oh, I could have just taken. I'm probably losing out somewhere else now. <laughs> that did make me laugh when I did that. <laughs> I'm going to take him out. Oh, I don't deserve that one. But he's got a fork on me here, so he gets me back. <laughs> oh, dear me. Chess is funny. Oh, gee, do you see the big mistake? I could have just gone there. <laughs> Oh dear, I'm totally messing this game up today.
was an interesting situation going on there. Uh, quite a few erroneous moves from myself at the beginning of that game. Let's have a look at the analysis, break it down. check there three inaccuracies uh, one blunder for me two inaccuracies three mistakes two blunders for the opponent okay let's uh, go back make sure that's on okay there okay so yeah wasn't a top-notch opening for ourselves but positionally felt fairly fairly safe in terms of working the team together so captured captured brought the bishop through protecting all simple stuff and then we could capture the knights that all that's all pretty simple looking for the x-ray through to the queen x-ray through to the rook capture the rook that's all pretty straightforward i think it's at this point here where we go for a little bit of a funky maneuver because the knight can actually take the bishop have a look at the gauge bar it's showing it's a draw even if he does take reason being i believe they take but we come and condense the king in although really and truly that might be a winner for them <laughs> so maybe it's not that move although i did miss that move as well so if they did take, then we're just going to grab and we're on his rook. So that's more favourable. Yeah, sort of drawn position type thing. So we brought that through, but they didn't actually see that. And I don't think we took advantage of it fully. We grabbed the knight. I suppose that's the best thing to do. And then they put the fork on. It's still showing minus 17. But we didn't do the right move. I believe we should have done the rook. We didn't do that. Yeah, we went with the knight. But on paper, we're going to be an extra piece up, which includes the rook. So it all seemed to fall into place quite nicely for us from all the errors that the opponent had made. Um, twice <laughs> um, so we took advantage of that those position plays and I suppose that's the whole idea behind how we're developing our game going forward obviously we don't want to make blunderous moves um, if we can avoid them as best possible but we've also noticed that when we do make those blunderous moves in our games they seem to actually put us in a better position strange as it may seem because the opponent is human, hopefully, fingers crossed, so they're making human errors as well. So they push forward, and at this point here, it seemed to be a little bit of plain sailing to get to this position here. And then get a resignation. So that was a pretty interesting game, and... Just thought I'd jump in, um, off of the back of doing the 1300 mini-series. Mini um, and it's nice to just practice your own system you know, when you do a little series like that, just to see where you're at. And, you know, we're, we're a long way off being um, ideal for what we want to work with. But we have to work with what we work with, and we've got to keep practicing. We are going to make blunders, but it's how we try and come out of those blunders. Try and make less blunders maybe more concentration on the move trying to build that potential value um system and making sure that it is the right move that you're making sometimes we put ourselves under too much pressure time wise if this is a 45 minute 15 second game so there's no real pressure on time so then we put pressure on well okay i need to make a move you know so this move looks okay, I'll do it, without really putting the proper full calculation in. 
and you might think you're doing the full calculation but as we've done within our system we're trying to say okay well you've done your calculation and then what's the potential value of the, that calculated move that you've made is that the best move so it's finding ways of finding the best move using your own concepts or ideas to say well i've chosen my best move but then challenging yourself and saying okay is there a better move or is there an even better move than the better move that you've chosen you know it's simple concepts and um, these aren't concepts i've created this is what i'm learning from um, listening to people reading books etc and as part of the answer process which you know we've not created this is just based on what i've seen um players doing they go for the answer which is putting pressure on the king or the king area or key pieces key squares etc so it's not a rocket science in any sense and not inventing anything and it's really at the end of the day that is the answer whether i can actually do the answer all the time that's a different kettle of fish people do the answer to me quite often and I'm because I understand the answer process it's making it more interesting for me to try and able to defend against it and then put my own answer to the table to try and equalize or get them to capitulate resign or draw so that's where we're currently at with our system so far um, I'm interested in playing another one I'm just going to take a little bit of a break and then I'll be back in
driving lesson was um, okay. Um, I stole it. Wasn't happy about that. But you know what? You can't always have a great lesson. And then now I'm just waiting for fish and chips. It's been a good day, productive day. It was nice to see you all. Fish and chips. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh dear. It's stolen the car. That's part of life. Don't worry about that. That'll happen all the time. I even do it. Don't worry about that. Really good to see you today. Look after. Check you soon.